Yo, what's going on guys? Be sure to grab yourself the simplistic design of the Jeku Cameo t-shirt and our new King's Core t-shirt today. Link in the description. Alright, here we go. The tense, steel air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with the fear, it can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching, to, itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard, and all the rest of our team, We'll use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. We'll see about that. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? Hello there, Leon and Jake. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is much too much to be contained. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Lee, Jake. That video stream. That was from Hemlock Stadium, right? That was the Hemlock. That was from Hemlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday. Did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized that what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility f now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother Jake. I've got to go. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once, once ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing about that. What, is, what does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did he even hear that name? I mean... I don't think it matters. That statue of the hero in Monostuk. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day and the sword and shield Pokemon. With the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try to find them, Jake. But where should we start looking? 
That's it, Jake. I'm sure it's got to be the Slumbering Wield. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must be one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the Slumbering Wield. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Huh? Jake? Hop? Uh, I completely forgot about the champion match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw that saw to that, and to sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wield? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm of something ra or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name of is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Jake? I'm here to stop the darkest day. To stop the darkest day? You mean you're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? Okay, here, take this. You should head to the slumbering wield. I'll catch up to you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. All that matters is you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer. <sighs> Ready for this, Jake? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd bother us now. We've both grown loads strong, uh, loads stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wooloo that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. The legendary tale of the fossil researcher that saved the world. Does anyone else have this problem, like, uh, if you're, like, going a certain direction, mainly down, sometimes it just won't register that it's all the way down and it just starts, like, crawling? I don't know if it's just me or if that's a thing with the Switch. What to do, Corbin Knight? Oh, actually, we still have to... I forgot about this, but we still have to do something real quick. I 100% forgot to do this. Um... Um, we'll put this over, not death, into trash, because we lost a life on Ayush. So that's why Ayush has the bone. 
Okay. <clears throat> oh, right. Who was that? Oh. In this way. Oh, got a little Pokeball. Oh, nope, I don't care about fishing. Sorry. Bloop. Oh, snap, life orb. Bro. Life orb is huge. We can do life orb spaz. Although spaz is kind of frail. Just life orb Ayush. Ayush is kind of bulky ish. Interesting, interesting. Let's give Life Orb to Malfoy. Let's give Life Orb to Malfoy and get rid of the scope lens. I feel like that could be pretty cool. Is there a way I can get up there easily? I want that yellow Pokeball. Oh, bro. Looks like I gotta go all the way around, I believe. I think if we go this way, we can get over there. Keyword, I think. Jesus Christ, he was huge. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Phantom Force. I don't think anyone on our team can use that, but it's kind of dope. Ugh. Nope, nobody can use it. I'm tempted to run into this guy because what if he's shiny, you know? There's always that chance. We could have had a shiny fossil. Could have brought in a shiny Ayush. Look out for the little pokeballs in the ground. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. <clears throat> My boy. Are here, the sword and, sh and the shield Pokemon. I knew it.
Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those... Those sword and shield Pokemon. They were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword and sh uh, of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writings said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering weald, sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Tuh, Sonya. Thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield were those two using... Maybe the sword and the shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Would you take a look at that, Jake? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. See that, Jake? The sword and the shield. The legend really were the legends really were here. It is said that a hero used this shield to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times. But it's but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall, at, fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if those rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Making our way downtown.
bruh. Leave me be. I'm just trying to get out of here. Just in case. Gotta look at the squad on the big screen. Well, if it isn't Jake and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, and then something like this has to happen? And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galler's future? It all seems a bit mad, if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key, the key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon and we've got everyone evacuated. And you and... And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Galar region. Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with his feistiest, feistiest, feistiest rival. I think that's what it said. Nope, it said fiercest, not feistiest. All teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with you. G Gym challenger, you must help me. I mean, please, help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan, was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on the rampage, the, under the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg for your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitting from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the young champions, of the champion's younger brother too. 
but who knows what is going on. And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Yo, if I remember right, his his music is straight fire. Stopping the darkest day. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day. Or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon, Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Gala region with limitless energy to ensure an everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock. That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with the plan to protect the future of Galar. You are challenged by Macrocosmos Rose. His music is so fire. One shot this thing, King. I got distracted for a second. I got an email saying, or it was titled, Bustin' Makes Me Feel Good. If you know what that's from, you're an awesome person. Yo, King's about to one-shot this dude's entire team. Let's go. King busting out to 70. Yo. King is a one man army. Last Pokemon. Copper Raja. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. Oh shit. 100% did not know we were Dynamaxing down here. Dynamax button? I, I didn't even see the Dynamax button. Wasn't paying that close of attention.
Yo, and the burn. All right then. Hopefully this move will turn things around for me. Okay, we kind of ate that. All right. Dynamax. Max Flare. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Most impressive, Jake. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the champion match between you two. I am terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. But it's too bad. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift, you can take that lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong, thanks to the gym challenge you organized. 